Hey guys, Evil here for Vanquish Products. For those drivers out there who like to push their rigs to and past the limits of their stock drivetrain, Vanquish has engineered the ultimate clamping lockers for your solid axle axial rig. Vanquish has reimagined the heavy duty clamping locker. Its two piece design is a new concept. It features a floating inner locker to absorb collinear movement that will help address bearing life issues that plague rigid no slop lockers. It also allows the locker to stay centered with the axle shaft bearings. This will prevent drag caused by uneven pressure exerted by most traditional clamping lockers. The outer housing is precision machine from 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. The inner locker is made from 4140 heat treated and tempered chrome moly. The two pieces lock together solidly to create the most innovative HD locker on the market. The VPHD locker will fit the axial wraith and ridge crest with no modification. However, to use them in the AX10 or SCX10, you may need to modify your axle housing to access the set screws. For our install demonstration, we'll be installing the lockers on an axial wraith. Its AR60 axles feature a removable diff cover, making locker removal and installation a breeze. We'll first need to harvest some parts from the stock locker assembly. Start by removing the C-hub and knuckle assembly and disengage the axle from the locker. You may need to loosen the link mount bolts to allow the axle to pass through. Once both axles are out, you can remove the diff cover and the two bearing caps, followed by the locker assembly. Next, we need to separate the ring gear and the diff cup. Remove the four 10 mm screws and pull the ring gear and gasket free and set them aside. Now we can assemble your new heavy duty locker assembly. Examine the inner locker and find the end that is fitted for the small o-ring. Then apply the o-ring. Next, line up the set screw holes with the access hole in the outer housing and insert the small o-ring side first. Push the locker into place and make sure the o-ring is seated correctly. Now you can apply the larger o-ring to the exposed side of the inner locker. We're now ready to mate it to the ring gear. Bolt the locker in place with the four 10 mm screws. Once that is complete, you can transfer the 15 by four bearings and install them on each side of the locker. Reinstall the completed locker into the axle and secure it into place with the bearing caps. Next, you can reinstall your axle shafts. Rotate the axle until it engages the locker. Then install your knuckles and C-hubs. Once that is complete, we can lock the axles in place with the included set screws. Be sure to use some blue thread lock on these screws so they do not work their way loose over time. Before tightening the set screws, move the steering knuckle to full lock. Then proceed to tighten the set screw for the axle. Repeat the operation for the other side. This helps the shaft center better in the locker. All that's left to do now is install your diff cover and your wheels and tires. And that's all there is to it. You're ready to hit the trail of the rocks with the confidence that your rig will be putting down the power with the strongest and most advanced lockers on the market. Thanks for watching today. We'll catch you on the next one.